Hello, friends. I see several of you are here already. Do I need to switch you guys? Everybody? Hello. Hi, hi. Are you guys having a good Friday? Uh -huh. Is it raining where you are? It's kind of raining no. here. No, not at my place, but are we doing paint today? We are not painting today. We're going to be cutting, well, I say cutting and gluing, but we're not. We're going to be cutting a little bit, but we're going to be tearing up some paper today. That's fun. Always fun. I love tearing up stuff. You guys are going to, um, I sent a supply list out, so you're going to need um, some scissors and some bottle glue if you have it, but a, a glue stick is fine. Nina, is that Nina? Yeah, and um, guess what? Yesterday was my brother's birthday, and after yesterday was mine. You guys have like the same day apart, one day apart? Yeah, and mine's April 7th, his is April 8th, so his is right after mine. That's like a whole birthday weekend. I love that. And, and, and to, uh, in a few days, um, our cousin's birthdays. Oh, my, you have birthday, you have a whole birthday week in your family. Yeah. You guys just put up decorations and just leave them up? You could just leave them up? Yeah, we got balloons right where you are. We have balloons uh, for our birthdays, too. We love them. Balloons are fun. Mm -hmm. Happy birthday, you two. You kill, you kill it. I had water balloons. Hi, boys. How are y'all? You guys ready? We're going to get started here in about two minutes, OK? OK. I know a lot of people have messaged me today that they're on spring break. And so they, um, a couple people are at the beach and some people are not gonna be able to be on here today. So um, we might have a smaller class. So it might not be so many people on the boxes up there. Alex, let me see what you got. Hold it up. Oh, I love, I love those colors. The purple yeah. and the blue, those are cool. Yep. Are they your favorite? Yeah, it's kind of like a galaxy version. Yeah, now you can do it. Who else had a question? Nina's little brother. I forget your name. Um, Max. I have, Max. I have a dinosaur toy. Look what it can do. It's Nina's little button. You turn it up, and then it goes like that. It bites, and the wheels on here move, and this one won't move. See? It moves. Oh, my God. He's going to run off the table. Can we show you ours? Yeah. Um, Holden me and, and me Holden. and Holden. What's your name? I forget them all of you guys. <laughs> What's your name? Holden and Jude. Jim? Holden and J U D E Jude. Jude. Let me see. Look at those eyes. You got some big eyes there, Holden. I love that. Jude, you look like you're dancing in your self portrait. That looks Cool. Yeah. I love that. I'm, from the lines, I'm jumping. So jumping I up. Good action shot. Wow, you guys did it. Okay, so one of the things I want you guys to notice is you guys finished your picture. You went all the way to the edges, top to bottom, side to side, and you didn't leave any white paper except where it was supposed to be white around your body. That is fantastic that you went out and finished those, those pictures. That makes your project look like an art piece and not just like a little scribble. You know what I'm saying? All right, we got everybody kind of jumping on here. Hi, Presley. Hi, Sarah. Colton, I don't see your face. Can you help me? Presley, can you help me? Okay. Zoe, I see Zoe in here. Tina and Max, yep. All right, my friends, we are going to um, go ahead and get started. I'm going to run through our supply list to make sure you have everything that we need to have. Um, yes, okay, I just want to make sure we are recording. So your supply list today, we are going to need, oh, so go straight down to the bottom of your screen and over to the left side of your screen. You need to click the mute button. It looks like a little microphone and it says mute down there. If you can mute yourself and go find my box where my face is, click on my face and there's three little dots up in the 
corner and you need to click on those little dots and click on pin because that will pin my face in the big part of your screen. So you guys can make sure you don't miss any of the directions, okay? So make sure you go up in those little dots up in the corner there and click on that menu and it'll come down and it'll say pin, P-I-N. You wanna click that. So my face is really big on your screen. Does everybody see me? Yeah, Max, I see you. All right. I have a question. What if uh -huh. I'm using a phone? Um, I'm not sure how it works on mobile, but it should have an option there somewhere where a little menu will come down and it might just be a little pick push pin um, icon button. Um, or it might just be up in the top menu. I'm not sure how it works on mobile. Hi, Nate. How are you? Good. Good. All right. So what we need today is we're going to need a regular piece of white paper. Copy paper is fine. Drawing paper, white construction paper. Um, so one regular piece of white paper. And we do need some construction paper. You're going to need a black piece. You're gonna need a blue piece. It can be any kind of color blue, it doesn't matter. And you're gonna need a green piece and it can be any kind of color green. I have two different shades of green here. This is a little different color just to show you that you can use any kind of color, okay? Any kind of color green, any kind of color blue. I have a light kind of a sky blue here, but you do need black. And you need your regular white piece, okay? So we got those kind of colors. If you have yellow, you can um, you can pull that out too. You can do a little sunshine if you want to. But if you don't have yellow, it wasn't on the list. You don't. Really Is there know. anything else that we can use instead of black? Well, we're making zebras today, so we do need black. But if you don't have black, you can color a big spot of black on a white piece of paper. So if okay. you get a crayon or a marker or something, you can color in a big section of black because we're gonna tear it up. I thought it was supposed to be, I thought it was supposed to be a secret what we were doing. Um, no, on the project list, it said torn paper zebras today. Okay. I'm gonna show you the final result. Let's finish going through our supplies though, okay? You need a black crayon, mine is broken, but it doesn't matter, it still writes. Um, I have a um, question. Wait, wait just a minute. So we're gonna have black crayon. We also need a yellow and a green crayon, or if you have a bunch of different ones, a shades of those, those are fine. These are not as necessary as the black. We do need the black though. You need some scissors. Um, and you're going to need bottle glue if you have it, or you can use a glue stick. Bottle glue is gonna work a little bit better for this project because it holds the paper tighter. Glue sticks work, they will work, but you just need to make sure that you put them on there and stick them on there really good. Okay, so we got our white paper. We got our black, blue, and green construction paper. We've got a black crayon. We must have a black crayon. Even Miss Jens is broken, but that's okay. Green or yellow crayons. I have one, that, I have a smelly black crayon. Scissors and glue. I don't have white paper. You don't have white paper? You can just use a notebook paper if you have notebook paper. That's okay. Oh, uh, thank you. Mm -hmm. um, I have another question. Mm -hmm. Can I use, can I use um, markers or Sharpies to fill in as black crayons? Uh, yes, you can. The crayons kind of give it more, we're doing torn paper, so the crayons kind of give it more of a rough feel rather than the clean lines that markers do, but yes, you can use a marker if that's what you prefer. All right, so let okay. me share my screen here, <clears throat> excuse me, and I'm going to pull up our, um, well, I might pull it up. What we're going to do. And I might find out how to share a screen. There we go. All right. So you guys see a zebra torn, a paper zebra art project on our screen. That's kind of what we're going to be making today. They turn out looking really cool. I mean, I've done this project with my kids before at school 
and they just turn out looking really cool. So you can see on here, the, the zebra, we're kind of going to draw it and then we tear up the black paper and put the stripes on there. It just looks really fun and tearing up the paper is always fun. And then we're going to put it on the blue background like a sky and then the little pieces of green down at the bottom are grass. In some of these examples, you'll see they are, in some of these examples, you will see they are um, cut nice and neatly, but we're not going to do that. We are going to um, we are going to we are going to tear them apart. Well, Miss Jen is trying to get it up. There we go. <clears throat> so we're going to tear the papers up. So that's kind of what we're looking at. Okay, that's kind of what our zebras are going to end up looking like today. So let's get started. I am going to pull my screen down, get my face back on here. And we're going to get started drawing. So get your white piece of paper out and your black crayon. All right, we're going to just start out drawing with our crayons. We're not going to draw with a pencil so to erase them. So if you mess up, you may have to start over on another piece of paper or you can just go with it because sometimes when it looks a little bit messy because we're tearing paper, it kind of makes it look cool anyway, like even if it is a little bit messy. I think that's kind of fun. So on your paper, one way to start drawing a zebra, and I want to make sure that you fill the paper up. We don't need no little teeny zebra right here in the corner. We want to draw a nice big zebra so that we have space to tear our paper and put the stripes on. So one thing that I want you to do is on your paper, somewhere up in this top corner, I want you to draw a circle and that's going to be the eye for your zebra. Okay, so draw a little circle and fill it in. Just like that, a dot in the upper corner of your paper. Okay. We got it. Now you're going to draw a line. That's going to be the top of the nose down and hook. It's going to be like a fish hook right here. I'm going to draw it. Doesn't that kind of look like maybe a backwards J? But it kind of looks like a fish hook to me. I think it looks like a fish hook. Now from this line, we're going to slant downwards and that's going to be the back of the zebra's neck. But don't go too far down because we got to draw his back here in a few minutes. Now from this part of the fish hook, we're going to draw underneath the neck, but we're not going to stop. This line's gonna come all the way down, almost to the bottom of the paper, and that's gonna be his front leg too. Well, let me show you how I'm gonna do that. Whoop! Sometimes, you know, we gotta make these noises while we do these big lines. Whoop! I like doing that. Shoop! All the way down. Then we're gonna come a little bit across to make the bottom of his foot, his hoof. Then we're gonna go up and back down to make two legs. He's gonna have two front legs and two back legs, okay? So remember, we're making simple shapes, okay? So these are like big rectangles. We're not doing stick legs today. So simple shapes. Now we're gonna draw a little line across for his belly. And you can make him a little fat zebra if you want to. He can have a little fat belly down there. Or you can make a skinny zebra, it don't matter. And you're going to draw two rectangles in the back for his back legs. Okay. You guys moving along with me? Now up here, we're going to draw his back and it's going to curve around his butt and connect right to that point where we left his leg, okay? So our back is gonna go curve around, around his butt and connect to that back leg back there. Whoop. Okay, so it doesn't really look like a zebra yet, does it? It kind of looks like an animal. It's got four legs, a little eye. You can go up here and draw a little smiley face on him if you want to. I like little smiley faces. Um, so it kind of looks like some kind of animal. But we're going to yeah. that he's going to be a zebra. 
And what do zebras have? Stripes. That makes them zebras. Stripes. Yeah. Stripes. I have a question. Yes. Can I make an angry face instead of a smiley one? Are zebras usually angry, though? No. I think no. lions are angry sometimes, but I don't know about zebras. Maybe you can just have a mouth like this. Oh. You have a mouth like that? Really uh, sometimes I do. Sometimes I do. Happy my... or not. Really oh, yeah. Animals are happy or not. My daughter really. drew this one, and he's got little ears up here. If you want to draw little ears on your zebra, that's okay, too. Oh. I have a question for you. I have a question. I can't draw a zebra so good. See? Let me see. Hold it. Way up to the, way up to the thing. You did draw it good. The main thing is to draw it big, and that's what you did, because we're gonna we're gonna put stripes on it. If he's a little teeny tiny zebra right here, you don't have no space to put the stripes on it. So we're gonna we're gonna do the stripes. Let me see, Jude. Hold it up to the camera. Big, good, Alex. Good, Jude. Let me see everybody. Zoe, Presley, don't hold them up. I, I'm having to read you mine. That's why I'm not holding mine up. That's okay. Hey, that looks good, you guys. As long as you, you did them so good. These look really nice. Really big. That's the thing. Jada, that looks good. Nate, yours looks fine. Yeah, all right. You guys are great. You guys are so good at following directions. Y'all know that? Y'all are amazing artists. Y'all are, and everybody had the same directions and everybody's zebras look a little bit different. That's the beautiful thing about art is we have a fun time doing all these different things. All right, so now, this is my favorite part of this project. My favorite this part of this project is tearing up this black paper. I mean, have you guys ever just sat and tore a paper before? It's kind of fun. All right, so get your black construction paper. And we want to tear teeny tiny little strips because we're going to make them into stripes for our zebra. So we're going to spend about 10, maybe not 10 minutes. No, probably okay. 10 minutes. Tearing up our paper. Now, there's... When, one thing to learn about paper is one way you tear it is easy and one way you tear it is rough. So if you tear it, all right, so it's side to side like this. If you try to tear it while it's side to side, it's going to tear rough like this. See the edges are kind of jagged and it looks like maybe a dinosaur took a bite out of it or something. All right, if you have it up and down long like this, when you tear it, you, it'll run with what's called the grain of the paper and you can almost tear it all the way down in a perfect line. Look at that, look at that. It's going all the way down. Isn't that cool? And look at my cool little stripey thing. So try tearing it both ways, tear it across and tear it up and down. It's better. What is the question? Um, I can't whip so good that if I whip it, it is a Okay, if it doesn't tear very easy, take it up and down, okay? I'm Put it up and down scissors. and tear it from the top to the bottom. It I'm should tear use, easier. I'm going to use scissors. You can. You can use scissors if you want to. It's not going to give you these rough stripes like zebra stripes too much, though. We want some to be thick and some to be thin, all right? And then take your, take your paper here and just tear some long strips, some short strips, some skinny strips, some fat strips, some diagonal strips. I like the ones that kind of come to a point like that. See how they do? I love those. And just tear, tear lots of strips, okay? Look at this one. I'm going to tear this one in half a little bit. Look at that. My zebra. They're going to look really cool, don't they? They're going to be really cool zebra stripes. So we want to make a whole pile of zebra stripes so we can put them on our, on our, look, some of them can be really little. That one might be for his leg. Some of them might be really long. That could go across his fat belly. Well, I love how they kind of tear uneven. Because when you look at a zebra in real life, their zebra stripes are not all the same. Did you guys ever see Madagascar? Have you watched that? With Marty? Yes, yes. That's a great movie. It is a I great movie. I, have, I, have, I haven't watched it, but I have played it. Oh, well, Marty is, is a zebra, and he's always laughing. He always asks, is he black with white stripes or white with black stripes? Because he's a zebra. They don't know. I he's love like black that. black and white together. I love that movie. Me too. Oh, my gosh. That Me is too. 
Oh, that we're playing this time. You know how we played Jurassic Park music when we were drawing dinosaurs? We should be playing Madagascar music while we're doing our zebras. That would be so fun. That would be so fun. So tear up that paper, you guys. Show me some of your strips you're tearing. Isn't it fun just like tearing paper up? I just think it's so cool. It's kind of kind of a little bit relaxing where you can just like tear the paper into strips. I just love that. You guys making some good strips? Keep tearing. No, we're not tearing our zebras out yet, Isaiah. We're 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 still tearing our stripes. I can't do it so good when I'm cutting. Well, if you're cutting, that's okay. Just make some lots and lots of stripes. We want a whole pile of black paper uh, to use for the stripes, okay? A whole pile of them. We're gonna take a few minutes up. Miss Jen's gonna let you guys work on that for a few minutes because I just love tearing this paper up. Yeah. It looks good. Quinn, don't you just love like tearing it and it can tear all the way down? Like it's so cool sometimes just to rip that paper up. So fun. Uh, look, I made a blank. Good. Yay. It's so fun just to tear all this black paper up. Tear it into a whole bunch of little stripes and make, make up a little, little pile I down here. Good. Good. Once you, we're going to give it a few more minutes and then we'll get everybody into the next part. Okay. So make your pile. You want different sizes and some are long and some are short. So we're going to put them all over our paper. <laughs> Oh, are you liking tearing all those things? Do you like tearing all of them? Yeah. Nate, are you tearing yours or are you cutting them? I'm cutting them. Cutting. cutting. I'm cutting them because I'm just not That's tearing. Okay. And I've gone back to the idea of using a marker because crayons, the you know how they just like drawing this hurts your hands. Yeah, that's how. And that's crayons okay. Are. Hey, all of this is gonna be. It's gonna be so cool. We're still all gonna have a zebra. Everybody might be using different materials, and that's okay. That's okay. That's the beautiful thing about art. I'm gonna give you guys some directions, but you guys can kind of make it your own. Jada, I see you tearing all that stuff up. That's fun. Miss Jennifer, I have a yes. question. Yes. Um, tearing papers is kind of like when this Halloween when me and my dad were smashing pumpkins. <laughs> oh, like yes, you can just like you can just do it over and over and over again. Mm -hmm. Um, it's that same kind of feeling, like oh uh, yay! Last year, I remember um smashing pumpkins with a shovel because it was Halloween. <laughs> well, you guys should only do these things when the grown-ups are with you, okay? You know, don't just sit there and tear up all the paper in the house. Make sure you ask a grown up first. <laughs> or Miss Jen can be like, okay, we're doing this for an art project. Oh, uh, well, we were going to do stripes on it anywhere. It was going to be like this. No. All right, you guys got some nice paper torn up. Um, I'm not done mine yet. Okay, I'm going to give you another minute or two. You guys keep tearing up paper cutting paper, whatever you're doing. Just get a whole big pile of them. Look, look, I got so many. I just love tearing it. Look at all mine, I got a whole bunch of piles. Some of them are little teeny short pieces. Some of them are a lot longer. I've got a bunch of long ones. Good, and then if you need a shorter one, you can just tear up one of those when you get to the gluing them on your zebras. I think I'm about done, but I don't have a lot of um, stripes. You want lots of stripes? We're going to fill our zebras up. Matt? Um, did you? Did you know that I have, did you know that 
one when it was my birthday last last night. Um, I got this dinosaur was in our box, and it had and it and it had an egg, and inside oh. egg, those two little baby dinosaurs. They look like dinosaurs, but it was real dinosaurs. Like this is how dinosaurs go. So first, sometimes they look they an egg, and then sometimes when they crack, sometimes they look different, and then they kind of grow different, or and then different, or and then it goes just like that, and then. <laughs> Everyone starts to get old, and then down is just as big as it was. And then the big one dies, and then it gets old and then dies too. Oh my goodness. Yeah, Are you sure it doesn't get eaten by the other ones? Even, did you know that it has giant claws too? Even inside the egg, it was glued that glows in darkness. Oh, that's cool. All right, friends. Are we ready? We're going to move now. All right. Um, does mine look fun? All right, good. Okay, we're getting, yeah, it's fine. We're getting ready to start with our zebra stripes. I'm going to show up. No, you're a little bit ahead. So what we're going to oh. do is you're going to take your glue, all right? And you are going to go put little strips of glue. Hey, one thing we remember about bottle glue is what? Dot, dot. Dot, dot. Then what? Not a lot. No, dot, dot, not a lot. Yeah, dot, dot, not a lot. We do not need a whole lot of glue on our zebras. No lakes, no puddles of glue. All How I do it is I get one it piece on the I have a stick of glue. another piece of paper. Okay, and if your stripes go off the edge of your zebra a little bit like mine have, that's okay because we're going to cut them out in a few minutes. So don't Why? worry. I'm a kind of um, I have, can I make a statement? Uh huh. My birthday is in four days. Man, we got all kinds of birthdays in here. We should have done a birthday project mm -hmm. this week. I wish I would have thought yeah, about that. Move on to glue. Mm -hmm. Now, okay, so we're going to put little strips, little strips of glue all around our zebra, wherever you want to put some stripes, okay? Um, and it's okay if it goes over the body because we're going to come And a short one and a long one. It's been a little too long. And then you can go down your legs and do a couple little stripes for stripes on the legs, too. Okay, see how I've got some strips of glue down here, down across the legs, and your stripes can go any which way. On a zebra, they can go up and down, they can go side to side, they can go up and down the legs, they can go, um, you know, off his neck, they can go off his back. Um, so they can go all the way from the back to the belly. Um, you can put your stripes any way you want to because they can go on the other. Yeah. So we're going to take our strips and stick them right in that glue. And if your glue squishes out the side, it's okay because the, the glue dries clear. So you won't see it anyway when we're finished. So go ahead and just stick some stripes all over, all over your zebra, okay? I'm just going to cut some paper. You can cut it. That, you can cut the black stripes. That's okay. No, I'm literally just cutting paper. Sometimes that's fun too. You can make all kinds of things with torn up paper. Because this is these are really like new sharp scissors. And then it feels when good. You, Does it feel good to just cut? Can you see what? Look at this. This goes. Oh yeah, that's great, Max. That's great. All right, keep gluing them all over your zebra because we want it to be black and white. Mine's cool. I'm sure we still got some space there. We still got some space for our zebras. How many people here have dogs? I just didn't get enough. I have a dog. I have a dog. He's a great day. We're, we're I have a dog. a dog. He's a great day, and he likes to bark at the UPS man. Uh -huh. I have I have two dogs. I have a boxer dog, and my and he and he likes to chase the UPS man down the road. I have two dogs. My dog is a Great Dane, and he just likes to bark at him. 
I have that UPS dogs. man is a soldier. Yeah, I have two dogs. Mm. Did you know we have a dog too? Oh. Named Bianca. Oh, Quinn has a dog. I have a dog named Blanca. Oh. Yeah, we My do. Dog. It's the girl she's sitting right there. My oh. dog is. My dog's name is Samson, like uh, after Samson in, in the Bible. Can they do art projects with you guys? My dog's name is Bo. Bo, I like that. That's a fun little name. Yeah. My dog's name is Lucy, and my best friend's name is Lucy. We, we have, have dogs. We have two dogs. dogs. <laughs> One of them are babysitting. Technically dog sitting. Yeah, technically. All right, so how's your zebras coming? Are we getting them on there? Mm -hmm. Stripes? Mm -hmm. Got all kinds of little stripes going off the side of your zebras too. That's totally fine because we're gonna cut, we're gonna cut all this out here in a few minutes. So we can go all the way around. If it goes off the edge, that's totally fine. Yeah. If you're getting close to being done with your stripes, hold them up. Let me see. Samuel's got a dog. I see that in the chat, coming up on the chat. Your birthday Sunday. Mm, Alex, hey, Alex, put some stripes up on his neck and then up around the area there. Got to fill it up. Yeah. My dog's under. Uh, it's my under. It's under me. It's under Mateo, me. good. Keep going. How many people here have cats? I have a cat. I have a cat. I always got a cat. Four cats. I have three. Cats. I have a cat. Me and my dad found my cat in my dad's truck while he was driving. I can't have a cat because my mimi's allergic to them. Oh yeah, some people are. I have a one on your on your zebra, Nina. Here, oh yeah, look at all those stripes, girl. That looks great. Hold in, Jude. You guys doing okay? Can I show you mine? Yeah, hold them up. That looks good. Thanks. Alex, yours are so even. All right, Jada. Look at them big old fat stripes. I love them. These are looking really good, you guys. I'm gonna give you another couple of minutes because we are um having a good time putting all this paper on, tearing up the paper and sticking it on there. Holden, yours looks good. I saw it. Does anyone want to see? It? Okay, so I cut a bunch of lines in this and I'm about to cut them across. Oh, okay. Crap. Dahlia, that looks good. Yours are so even, too. And if they're even, that's great. If you want them wild and crazy, that is great. These are your zebras. You get to do some cool stuff. Samuel, look at them big old fat zebra stripes. Oh, you did them on the legs. That looks good. Yeah. Yeah, that looks good. All of yours. I just finished mine. Ooh, show you that. I actually made two. Yeah. Wrapping around everywhere. <laughs> Excuse me. Yes. Um, I may actually. I didn't only. I I I didn't only make one zebra. I actually made two. That's okay. We can do two. Here's my first one. Oh, that's his second. Then I cut it. And then. Legs. You're not gonna cut. This is oh, his zebra spot. Okay. That's, the first one. that's fine. If you have two, that's fine. We could probably put them both on there. Quinn, that looks good. Get ready. We're going to get ready to cut, okay? Oh, cut it. So most of, if you're still in. gluing your stripes, if you're still gluing your stripes down, you keep, you finish that part. The next part is we are going to go uh, take our scissors. And we're going to cut around our zebra. All right, we're going to cut around our zebra. You're going to cut um, the outline. And you're going to cut right, if your stripes went off the edge, see how they cross that line? 
we are going to cut right up that line and cut the stripes off too. See how it's going just like that? And I'm cutting the paper off. That's okay. We're gonna stay on the outline. Whoops, there went one little piece in the floor. So see how we cut right up against the outline? That's how we're gonna cut the zebras out. We're gonna cut them all out. Zebras have tails. We're gonna do that in just a minute. So be careful when you're cutting um, that you don't, that you follow the outline. And if you cut off a little bit of the stripes that cross that line, it's okay. All right, so we wanna make sure that we're cutting our zebras out um, on the outline that we drew, the crayon outline or marker if you drew it with marker. And you're gonna oh. cut right around the whole edge of your zebra cut carefully, stay on the line, okay? I have a question. Yes. Um, what if I do not have construction? What if, all right, repeat your question, I didn't hear you. If I do not have construction paper. You don't have construction paper? Yeah, we do, never mind. Never mind. Oh, okay, all right, okay, we're good. And, and if you don't have construction paper, that's okay, you can put it onto anything. My glue is still dry, that's okay. You can cut it while it's still drying. Just be careful that you wipe your fingers off when you're done, all right? You can cut right around it and right through the glue. And then when you're done cutting your zebra out, go wash your scissors in the sink. You can wash your scissors just like you wash dishes. How many of you guys wash dishes? Okay. We, me and my brother wash dishes. Yeah, you can wash scissors. You can throw your scissors right in the dishes and wash them. So if you get glue on your scissors, because my glue is actually still drying too. Um, if you get glue on your scissors, you're just gonna take them and put them right in the um in the sink and you can wash them just like you wash dishes. It doesn't hurt them. They're stainless steel. Mm. Yep. So you can you can just wash your scissors just like you wash dishes. That's a lot of that's actually a lot of an artist's job is most of the time is just cleaning up all the things. You take care of your supplies. That looks good, Alex. Yeah. You take care of your supplies so that you can use them more often. We wash our paintbrushes. Oh, the yumbo, what's in there? We're gonna wash our zebras. I mean, we're gonna wash our scissors. We're gonna wash our zebras. I think that would be a hard job. Can we, right. can we? Can we what, Mad? Can we? Who owns a zebra? Never mind. Show me your zebras and when you get them cut out, but take your time. Mine's running away. <laughs> you know, one little artist trick that I that I have, I'll show you. I keep a trash can right here by the table. So when I'm cutting, all my stuff goes right in the trash can. And I can just do this on my table, swoop, 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 and everything goes in the trash can. So that's just a little cleanup trick. If you guys uh, have a trash can, you can bring right over to the table. That's a great way to make it easier to clean up everything. Excuse me. Yes. Um, I I just finished my zebra. Now I'm on to the cutting the second zebra. Good. All right, Mateo, what you need, buddy? You can unmute and talk. Oh, that looks good. All right, I'm seeing your zebras coming on out. They look good. Jada. Yeah. Can I be done? Can I be done? We're not done quite yet. We got a few more steps. Rick, is that Rick on there? Or is that? Uh, it's Lexi, but this is my grandpa Rick's computer. That's right. I knew, I keep forgetting who's on, who is on which account. All Rick. right, so the next thing we're going to do, once you get your zebras nice and cut out here, we're gonna glue them on our blue background. 
So it looks like they're standing in the sun, in the, in the sky, okay? So you're gonna glue them onto your blue piece of paper here. And for their little tails, you can just take one little piece of your black strip and glue it like sticking out uh, off the end of the, off the back of the yeah, so I can do it. Again, with your glue, remember what I, what Miss Jen says, dot, dot, not a lot. You don't need lake. You don't need a whole puddle of glue. We're just gluing paper to paper this time. So we do not need it to be really thick. Just dot, dot, not a lot okay. of the bottle glue. And if you're using a glue stick, you do want to make sure that you get it on there really good because sometimes the glue sticks don't stick as well. They don't last really long. Yeah. We're going to glue our zebras that we cut out onto our blue background. What's funny is that I already did a tail. Yeah. Oh, okay, that's fine. If you already did a tail, if not, you can get a little piece of black, one of your black strips, and just put it out here on the back end. Oh. Um, if you want to do a mane, you can do a mane too. Zebras have a mane. The, the hair that comes down the back of their neck. Mine already has a name. Yeah, yeah some, some of you guys already drew them and that's totally fine. And remember, if you get a little bit of glue on your paper um, squishing out, it dries clear. Most of the time Elmer's glue or any kind of white school glue is gonna dry clear so it's not gonna mess up your stuff. Now we get to tear some more paper. You guys ready? Yeah. I'm still cutting mine. That's okay. You can keep, you can catch up. That's no problem. Ste keep cutting. Excuse Sorry, me. I'm washing clothes and my buzzer is going off over here. Yes. Look at mine. Uh, I have to go because I have to go to an eye appointment. Oh, all right. Well, we're just going to tear the paper, the green paper, and glue it. I'm on. already done. Oh, then you're good. You are good. Well, Misty, I'll see you next week, okay? okay bye. My friends, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to tear our green paper into grass pieces, okay? If you want to do a block, Nina, Nina has a whole block of green back there. That looks cool. But we want to do, we want to tear some more pieces. Look, this is going to be some grass. But let's tear some more pieces up, you guys. Let's tear some grass pieces up. These could be some grass pieces. These are cool. These are so fun. All right. And if you want to tear some skinny grass, I like that too. We're going to tear lots of pieces for grass now. This, I'm telling you guys, this is like tearing paper day. I just love tearing all the paper up, making like making it look like cool stuff. We're going to be tearing all the paper today. So let's tear lots of little pieces of green. And sometimes when, when you tear them, they kind of roll like that. I think that makes it look more like grass. So when we glue it on there, we can like let it hold up, hang off the paper a little bit. You know, look, I'm gonna make it look like this so it will look like just plants that like go up. And then I love it. Yeah, like plants that go up. Yes, yeah, or like you could do a whole tree. You could do that. That yeah, it's gonna be on sideways. Can I cut mine out? Miss hey, Jenna. Jenna. Oh, hi, everybody. I know, Jenna missed out on making the zebras today. Didn't she guys? She missed out on the zebras. Or just, I guess she. Okay, now here's something, all right, that if you really want to get kind of cool and creative with your grass, the, the paper that you've torn from your grass, this is where you can make it look really cool. You can take a yellow crayon or your green crayon if it's not exactly the same color as your, as your paper. And we're gonna put little highlight marks on the grass. You know how sometimes you can actually see like the, the stems in the grass? So we're gonna put a couple of little highlight marks on our grass um, on each one of these pieces before we glue them down. I'm like, I made my a lot of details, but I think we can do it. I've I already it's kind of hard to see with this thing in the background. You see how I did a little bit of stems on my grass? I did the green and the yellow. That's going to make it look like a lot of details. 
So we're gonna, I can do that on every single piece of my grass and then I'm gonna glue it. Um, and I'm actually gonna glue some pieces in front of my zebra because it's gonna make it look like he's standing behind, like in the grass, in the grass for real. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna put it, put it right over top of him and glue it down. So let me show you what I'm talking about. Look, see, it's making him look like it's in the grass. So I'm gonna put some pieces of grass in front of my zebra. So it looks like he's standing in the grass. That'd be cool. I think that'd be cool. Don't you? And remember when you're using bottle glue, dot, dot, what? Not a lot. Not a lot. You guys are gonna get tired of me saying that. I you're gonna actually, know. I actually, I actually, I Look, I already made mine. Let me see. Did you make your grass and your zebra. Let's, let's glue him on the blue paper. Excuse me, I just finished doing mine. Okay. So I, I think I'm about to too. I finished mine. I just finished my first one. It's so good. Look like it's eating grass. It does look. Oh, you can put some in my little mouth. Oh. I I finished mine too. And look, here's a flower there. See? Oh, you made a little flower. That's great. Yeah, look at mine. I'm putting some grass in front of him, and I'm gonna put it all the way across. Lots um, of little pieces. Yeah. These are fun, you guys. Is there I finished mine already. Well, if you're if you finish yours, yes. Make sure you put your name on it so you can sign your artwork and everybody can remember that you made it. We definitely want to make sure we sign our artwork, right? Is there a step after making the sun? No, that's it. Once you get your grass all on there. Um, I highly suggest you put your name somewhere down near the bottom or on the side with a black um, crayon or a black Sharpie marker so you can sign your artwork. That always so makes it more special. Oh, yeah. Um, so I'm done, right? I think so. Unless I, you want to add, unless you want to add some little clouds up in the sky or something like that. But I think it looks great. You know what? I will take you off on that offer. <laughs> So, you guys, did you have fun making our zebras today? Yeah. That looks great, Samuel. Yours looks like it's really like like on the grass. Have you guys had fun making zebras? Yes. Yeah. Cool. What just happened? When Clyde on. I even added a sun. You can do that, absolutely. Can make I say it your mine? own. I and I now have a cloud. We're shutting it now. Yes. Oh, that's perfect. It looks good. Hey, if you have a gray crayon, Nate, you can take a gray crayon and do a couple little swirls in there, and it'll make it look like like the cloud, like puffy parts of the cloud. That that could work. We're gonna shut the computer. All right, bye guys. Are you bye. 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 I ran over a little bit. It's 3 45. I, I run out of time because we're having so much fun. We, oh, we okay, have to tell you something. We're going to make a volcano. Oh, okay. Yeah, a volcano's cool. I also kind of wanted to tell you something. Okay. My birthday's in two days. Oh my gosh, it is birthday season. You guys all have birthdays. I I'm telling you, we should have done a birthday better. project. I wish I would have known all of that. Oh, wow, Jada, that looks nice. Don't those look cool? My brother really really just shut it. I Wait, before you leave, I can I show you my second one? Yes, show me. <laughs> this is mine. This is my second one. Hold in. Good, that looks lovely. These look so fun, you guys. My guy's hiding in the grass eating the Bye, grass. Zoe. Mommy. Bye. 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 Bye.
shut it. I don't okay. know. Bye, Holden. Bye, Jude. Bye. Get Ann in there. All right, friends. I will see you guys next Friday. Oh, Quinn, you had a birthday too. Everybody had birthdays this week. I missed it all. All right, my friends. I hope you have a wonderful weekend and I will see you next time. Bye.